the maximum tension in the string of an oscillating pendulum is double of the minimum tension find the angular amplitude now first of all let's have a simple pendulum right and uh, this is its extreme position let's say the angular displacement is theta fine so let's say the total length of the simple pendulum is L so this distance can be written as L cos of theta fine and this distance will be equal to L minus L cos of theta now by conservation of energy I can write if the velocity at the mean position is V then by cons and this is the extreme position so the velocity over here will be zero so by the conservation of energy I can write half of m v square is equal to m g l 1 minus cos of theta so I can write mass is cancelled from both sides the v square comes out to be 2 g l 1 minus cos of theta fine now we know that the maximum tension will be at the mean position and the minimum tension will be at the extreme position fine so I know that mg will be downward and the centrifugal force will be also downward that will be equal to mv square by L so I can write T max is equal to mg plus mv square that is equal to 2g L is gone 1 minus cos of theta and T minimum can be written as mg this mg will be downward since the velocity is 0 over there so it will be equal to mg cos of theta so this is can be written as mg cos of theta and it is given in the question that T max is 2 times of the minimum tension fine so just substitute the value over here I have T max as mg plus 2 mg 1 minus cos of theta is equal to mg cos of theta so mg is cancelled from all the side I have 1 plus 2 minus 2 cos theta is equal to cos of theta that's of course 2 times of t minimum so it will be 2 so it gives me 3 is equal to 4 cos of theta so cos theta comes out to be 3 by 4 that is the answer I mean theta will be equal to cos inverse of 3 by 4 that is the answer that is the angular amplitude